population at large. Nobody will be smarter than anyone else. Nobody will be better looking than anyone else. Nobody will be stronger than anyone else. And nobody will be greater than anyone else. like someone hitting a milk bottle with a goddamn hammer. I think it'd be real interesting hearing all the different sounds, all the things they think up. Huh? Only if I was handicapped general. You know what I would do? If I was Diana Move Glampers, I'd have chimes on Sunday. Just chimes. Kind of an honor of religion. I could think if it was just chimes. The point of the noise is to interrupt my thinking. Well, maybe make them real loud. I think I'd make a good handicapper general. Good as anyone else. Who knows better than I do what normal is? Right. But but even so, it requires... Boy, that was a doozy, wasn't it? What were you saying? What? About Handicapper General. I don't recall. All of a sudden, you look so tired. Why don't you stretch out on the sofa so you can rest your handicap weights on the pillows, honey bunch? No. Go on and rest the weights for a little while. I don't care if you're not equal to me for a while. I don't mind it. I don't notice it anymore. It's just a part of me. If there's just some way we could take off a few of them lead weights, just a few. Two years in prison and $2,000 fine for every ball I take out? I don't call that a bargain. You could just take a few off when you came home from work. I mean, you don't compete with anyone around here. You just sit around. If I tried to get away with it, then other people try and get away with it. And pretty soon we'd be right back in the dark ages again. With everyone competing against everyone else. You wouldn't like that, would you? I hate it. There you are. The minute people start cheating on laws, what do you think happens to society? It would... Reckon it all fall apart. Would what? Society. Wasn't that what you just said? Who knows? Lady, ladies in the... That's all right. He tried. That's the big thing. He tried to do the best with what God gave him. He should get a nice raise for trying so hard. It's so nice of people to give people like him a chance. I greatly apologize for my voice. It is unfair to my fellow Americans that I should make this announcement. The announcer gave his full effort. I will try my best to be equal to my countrymen. Excuse me. Harrison Bergeron, age 14, has just escaped from jail, where he was held on suspicion of plotting to overthrow our God-blessed government. He is a genius and an athlete and is under handicapped, and should be regarded as extremely dangerous. He is a threat to the nation's security and equality. George Darling, that pretty man on television, has our same last name. Fancy that! My God, Hazel. That's our son. How can I forget Harrison? If you see this boy, do not. I repeat, do not try to reason with him. It's Harrison Bergeron! Get the door! I'm the Emperor. Do you hear? I am the Emperor. Everyone must do as I say at once. Even as I stand here, crippled, hobbled, and sickened, I'm a greater ruler than any man who ever lived. Now watch me become what I can become. I shall now select my empress, the first woman who dare rise to her feet, claim her mate and her throne.
I'll show these people what I mean to dance. Music. Play well. Now I'll make you do parents and girls. What is that? It's music, Mr. Bergeron. No, that's noise. Meaningless noise. Is there anyone in the free show who can play? Is there anyone worthy of being a Duke of my new empire? For violation of the Constitution of the United States of America, the abomination will be equalized in the name of country and God. up in my mind. Forget sad things. I always do. That's my girl. It's funny. Things seem really mixed up in my head too. I feel like... I can tell that one was a doozy. You can say that again. Gee, I can tell that one was a doozy. 